Good morning, guys. Welcome to Cairo Day for our horses. Every month, we do some kind of an extra treatment for our horses. Sometimes we do Cairo, sometimes we do massage, sometimes we do femur. I don't video them because I like to maintain the privacy of the person that's doing the treatments. Unless they say, hey, put me in your video. And what's really weird is that I always ask anybody that I put in our video, even my grandkids, if they wanna be in our video. If they don't wanna be in our video, I don't wanna put them in our video. But what's really weird is that there was this girl from an old barn and I asked her if she wanted to be in our video and she said yes and then later I saw her posting on social media that we just put her in our video and we didn't even ask her. I saw her saying so many lies about us. So many lies, insane, insanity. But that's why I don't video it. I like to keep people's privacy. Not everybody wants to be on social media and so I want to respect them and not just video them unless I ask them and unless there's like a reason that I ask them. Like our massage girl, she doesn't want to be in our videos. But she did let me mas video her hands before massaging. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today. We are so much closer to birthing baby kids. Oh, can't wait to tell you. I was going to open this door. Don't do that. I can't open it. I just thought it would be nice for the farrier to have like more light in here. Oh, she's wet. What side did you try and open? This one. This one? Yeah, this one. <laughs> so, then I looked out here and realized, yeah, it, there's no way this thing's opening. So, we're getting closer to baby goats. I talked to my sister last night. You guys know I've been saying about how my sister was the manager of the Humane Society for 20 years. And she's amazing. She's like six years younger than me, I think. And uh, literally one of my heroes. She's the one that taught me all life has value. Like, when I was young, I used to believe like a lot of people. I used to believe in like... And like, I used to be really snobby. Like, I used to believe that if you were gonna have a dog, you should have like the best dog, like a registered dog that had like the highest pedigree. And I used to believe in that. And my sister actually breeds and shows pugs. So she understands that mentality, but she also taught me that all life has value and it's something that has stuck with me for so many years like seeing her she's always been an animal rescuer and she, I mean she works she works in that whole field she's always been subject to like stray animals coming into the shelter and anyway the point is is that I learned a lot from her and she has a lot of experience she works she's she's pretty much squared up she has worked with vets like you would not believe. Like she can tube feed anything and she is, she's just amazing. She's my biggest mentor in the animal world. Anytime I have any issues, I always call her. She helps me with everything. She's birthed a lot of goats in her life. Uh, I told her like, you gotta come when <laughs> my goats have babies. Just be on a call. And if I have any struggles then, which I've done a lot myself, like I can get an unstuffed dog out. I can, I've done a lot of stuff, I just, I don't know, I just am nervous. <laughs> like, I just wanna have her there if I need her there. So she said she's gonna come. But the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm gonna make a video really soon, I should do it today, but I'm gonna make a video really soon about the animals that we want to get. Is that Gracie in there crying? Probably. Throwing a fit? Because, or Penny. Because it sounds like Penny. Yep, yeah, it's, it's Penny. Penny. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna make a video soon about the animals that we plan to add to our farm this summer. Uh, we don't like to be overwhelmed with animals, so it won't be a lot of animals, but there are like one, two, three, maybe five or six things that we are planning to get, and I already secured one. Won't be coming for the spring, but we are getting something, and it's something that we have never had on our farm before. So stay tuned for, for that. She squared up. Almost. Almost. But, <laughs> but I'm glad you're practicing. We got Gabby here too. She comes for chores or for, she comes for this stuff anytime we have to bring our horses in. And she's studying because it's exam week for her. Oh, but also the reason Gabby's here is because uh, it's another snow day. She's bored already. Yeah, you're the first one, Missy. It's 
ice. So I cleaned up a bit. I love when people come here because it makes me clean up a bit. This is still super messy. I don't know what I want to do with this stuff. I might end up finding a spot for all that stuff on our shelf over there, moving this stuff to the goat barn. <laughs> it's like the goats are taking over. Anyway, so there's this weird thing about Gabby that you guys don't know. Today's video is all about the things you don't know. So she's studying right now and she's telling me about how like when she first went to school she didn't know how to study effectively which okay i get it and she said you know i would have done so much better on my very first test if i understood like how to study but she says that after she studied for her first test she got it a lot better like she learned how to effectively study better so she's going on and on and on about like i would have done so much better if i had known how to study better blah 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 okay gabby i'm putting you on camera how many questions did you get wrong on the test that you didn't know how to study for? As far as I remember, only two. She gets embarrassed that she doesn't do perfectly, and I don't understand where that comes from. I don't want her to feel like that. I don't want her to live like that. I want her to know that it's okay to not be perfect. She definitely is an honor student, and she's doing amazing, even more amazing this semester. Oh, she's a puppy size. I helped her try and figure out her average for language the other day, and she has like, so many hundred per yeah she gets embarrassed when i talk about it because she doesn't like to like feel like she's bragging and stuff and, and we're not trying to break i'm just trying to show that it's okay not to be perfect that even an 87 is amazing do you guys remember when honey tried to <laughs> sam and i if i have the picture i'll show you we sat down to do a video in the barn it was like a sit down video and honey just she climbed said, up I behind like us she was like i want to be in the video too <laughs> she's she, you're wants, tripping yourself. I don't know. She wants to be on the couch. That's my ponies to have long tail. I mean, short tails and long bridle mounts. So she trimmed her tail again. I just cut the dead ends off. Because <laughs> it was, Do they get dead ends? Yes, because it gets, like, all the mud gets in her tail. And then you have no choice but to just chop it off. Oh, I don't see any mud on this pony. Yeah, because I just cut it off. Three hours later, and we're done. Oh, we need to turn off that light. I'll get somebody else to do it. I don't know where it, where it turns off. But anyways, three hours later, and we're done. It takes so much time, and I'm frozen. Both the girls went in the house because everybody was frozen. It was an expensive day, but totally worth it. Our horses really enjoy it. Like, they actually really enjoy it. Okay, so I hate this shelving unit. I hate it. But now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to move some stuff around. I think I'm going to move this one. I think I'm going to move all this stuff down, like these shelves down, the fridge down, and then put this on the other side of the fridge. And then I think I'm going to put this in that area. Um, and, but if I paint this thing and maybe take the door off, I hate the fact that it has the doors, but maybe if I paint it, because I can actually, I have to adjust this still, but I can actually fit my, oops, hold on. I can actually fit my kit in here. I know this she is- She ran up to me. This is getting bonkers, you guys. It's honestly the craziest yes. thing I've ever seen. She's listening. This duck thinks that Sophie ears. is her mom. She runs up to her and wants Sophie to pick her up. Show them how she hugs oh, you. Lucy. Can you. Can you get her to? She'll put her head on Sophie's shoulder and bury her face into Sophie's hair and neck and just Sad. snuggle with her. Look at her teeth, they're cool though. I know, she's so cool. There she goes. Isn't she the cutest thing? Like, I'm obsessed with ducks. We also ordered, we ordered the ducks that we're gonna get this year. They haven't started laying yet, but we're getting hatching eggs and we're getting a whole different breed, but that's a whole other video I have coming up soon. Sam to change the camera for me because, because I don't know, I can turn it, I can see the baby, I can see in that one. But you can't see in my stall. Well, anyways, we're just going to try it there and see how it happens. But anyway, Sophie and I are going to put the goats in because we have riding lessons tonight. Aren't we shaving? Oh, yeah. So, oh, I forgot the shaving thing. I brought it. I got it in the barn. Whatever. It's too cold. So, we were going to shave our goats today, but then the, the Here, wait, whole let's... massage thing lasted way too long. So, we're going to do it tomorrow instead. I got everything ready. I got everything, like, set up to do it. But we're gonna try um, putting them on the stand and 
Wait, why are we working? Wow, she looks bigger. Oh, so that's the other thing I wanted to tell you guys. So this is Mocha. Hi, Mocha. Look, she's got to have twins, I betcha. Okay. She's not super big. She rips her collar off. I know, but look how big she looks. Anyway, so this is what I wanted to tell you. So I told you guys that, that the white ones were not letting the brown ones eat while they were in the cell at night. They oh, would but. eat occasionally, but they were terrified to eat. And then the day that we separated them, like a they were still terrified to eat. And then you're, you're out. the next doing? day they were still terrified to eat, but I'm happy to report that Ow. the brown ones eat half the night now. Mocha. Like they Mocha. are eating a lot and I can tell a huge difference. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see. So she was getting really skinny oh, in, in the back. Than the last time you checked. Oh, her udder is tiny. So she it's probably has. She probably has another. I mean, she's not a first freshener, so sometimes it's. Kick can, me. No, I'll kick I you. Want, no, I want the babies to kick me. Oh, <laughs> good. Well, she's so it's such a good girl. Anyway, she was starting to get like really tiny again back here, and we had worked past that. She looks really good now. Makes your feet see. Her udder does not even look her like. Feet look good still. Maybe she's not pregnant. Maybe she's just fat. No, but, she's pregnant. Let's see. We know because her babies kicked us before. So, right? have you ever tried to do this thing called bumping? You ran so, into each other. <laughs> no. So. Oh no. You ran so into I don't know if you guys can see, but. Bumping is when you pick up the belly oh God. and you push it forward and then you let it down, but you keep your hands there. Just feel the babies. And the babies will bump back. Maybe her baby is just sleeping. Ellie, go. Hey, anyway, she's looking a lot better. A lot better. I'm so much happier now that I separated them. Oh, stop stabbing me! <laughs> stop stabbing her! Sophie just said that she's so little and she can't pick up Blossom anymore. We just have Blossom on the stand. She's doing amazing. <laughs> what a cutie! So you guys can probably see, like her body length from here to here has grown a ton. I and actually, and she's just like, where's my food? Her height has grown a lot too. She looks like a three month old. You're okay. She she's barely ever. She understand. she looks like a three or a four You're three okay. or a four month old. Like feel that based oh. on our other ones. I thought it's just yeah, it's all um, fur. She like always seems so chubby to me, but she's not. I love her frosted ears. Yeah, I love her. She's so sweet. So obviously she's not pregnant, but she's like our most easygoing goat. So I'm just going to show you. Lift everything up. Tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to clean up her tail, trim it up a bit. Wait, we're doing that for her? No, not for her because she's not giving birth. She's not pregnant. But we're also... she she's When she's old enough to have babies, I'm getting her cute pink boy. So we're also going to clean this up. And we're gonna shave their udders, so she has no udder because she, she's she not pregnant. Her. But we're gonna clean all this up so that um, when they birth, okay, go ahead, switch them out. Because when they birth, especially in winter, if it gets all over them, it's really hard to clean. <laughs> Hi, baby. She's just looking for food. <laughs> I know that's all she does. Um, we're just so it's like really hard to clean. So I want to definitely clean them up now to prevent a lot of mess later. A lot of people do this. I know there are some people on our channel who are really in the old way of thinking that are like, leave them, they're fine, they'll do it on their own. But the harsh reality is that a lot of babies die in the wild and in and when they're just left alone to do it on their own. Obviously, we're not going to like overpower them, especially like Tilly. We're just going to be watching in the background. And if um, there's a problem... If there's a problem, then we'll help out. So we're just doing training on the milk stand right now. <laughs> These are our treble goats. Everybody else waits at the door. They're like, I'm, I knew you're coming, I knew it. Come for me. They just can't wait to come in. These two, not so much. Well, they wanna come in, they're just. She they're does. Like, so do she's it. not as bad as her mom. Hi, Rosie. Come on, right. you can come in. Your turn. <laughs> she jumps up. Your turn. I can't. Come on. But this is what we're. This is what we've been like trying to do at night, if we can get down here early enough. Hi, handsome. 
Isn't he the most handsome goat ever, though? Hello, baby. Why do you? You're not as bad as Mocha. Come in. Oh, she's food motivated. <laughs> yep. Come on. Oh. Almost. Oh. Yeah, good girl. So right, she's not. Okay. Yeah, she's not pregnant, and she's oh, still. Boy. She's not pregnant, but we still like to put them up here and and get them used to it because one day she will be pregnant. So we also are like hand feeding them when they're up here. We hand feed them when we do like training on the table because we want them to get used to being handled, which is the big thing. I have been trying to put together all my stuff. So I have, I've got this little thing here. I've got like some drugs, some needles, a bunch of drugs in little containers like this. There's more in here. And a bunch of needles so it this is getting together you guys it's coming together i'm actually gonna make a whole video of everything that i have in my birthing kit when i have it all together i still need to get a nasal aspirator i need still need to find my thermometer i still need like there's a lot of stuff i need a lot <laughs> apparently it's almost above freezing in this barn today she looks like she's lost a little bit of weight which can be normal when the babies drop Ooh. She scares me. <laughs> oh my god. This is what you gotta do. You just gotta stick for her. Small? Like the same size as monkeys. Yeah. So I think I think we got another month to go. Been looking for love so true. When I was down and down alone came you. It's so sweet. I love you. He's so cute. You gotta be an Argo. What is she doing to me? <laughs> she put her beak in my mouth. Don't let her fall. I like that. She doesn't do that to me. <laughs> that you know, was gross. She was hate She's you. just trying to kiss me. Oh, feel the under of her beak. Ow. No, we have to go. No, feel it. It's soft. It's like soft and squishy. I felt it in my mouth. So funny. <laughs> Hi, handsome. I mean, if he puts his mouth... <laughs> oh, I'm sick. Uh-oh, she's like, go. Are you okay? What happened? Yeah. What did you do? You know the bridge of his wing that's like really rock hard? Yeah. He whacked me. Are you okay? That's the worst feeling. So these little tiny times where we put them on the stand and feed them out of our hand has made such a difference. So many of the goats, like Rosie and even Tilly. Did Tilly, no not Tilly, did Mocha jump up? No. No. You had to lift her. I uh, had to lift her. Too. She's heavy. She, I think well, she's she the only one that jumps up. She's like, give me the food. I dreamed last night that I said to somebody, I think she has twins. And then, <laughs> and then it said, nope, just one. Anyway, that is it for today. We're headed to riding lessons before the freezing rain comes because it's actually supposed to freezing rain again. And school's supposed to be canceled again tomorrow mm. during exams. So. Oh, I don't know how it's going to work out, but anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. But what I, wait, what I was saying is that the ones that jump, we have ones that jump up, stick their head right in there and just naturally know what to do now. AKA Blossom. Blossom and Rosie did it. Uh, Rosie only did that because I shook the food. Yeah, who cares? That's, Blossom saw it and was like, I'm going there. That's such huge growth. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way